Jackie Johnstone of JackieJohnstone.com and this video tech tutorial is going to walk you through creating a custom app tab um, for a social network like Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, or Instagram. Um, so what I mean by custom app tabs are these little boxes here that appear below your cover photo. Um, you, you can see that uh, you, know, you can have all different ones. I have Twitter, uh, YouTube, Pinterest. I have my um, subscribed, so I have my email newsletter. And having these types, of, uh, these types of tabs on your Facebook page, it makes your page, obviously, it allows you to have a little bit of design, so it makes it more beautiful, but it also makes it more functional because it makes it easy for people to find you and take a look at what you're up to on your different social, on your different social networks. So the first thing you want to think about if you're going to have a bunch of these tabs is possibly you know, an overarching uh, design theme to them. So it can be as simple as going with uh, you know, alternating colored boxes with white or black writing, um, like I've created here for this Facebook from scratch tab. Um, and you can do something simple like this in PicMonkey or Photoshop. The Facebook tab um, image needs to be 111 pixels by 74 pixels. So you can literally just create a colored box and then put the text on it and save it. And I'll show you um, where that gets uploaded in a second. Um, or you can go a little bit more fancy if you've got some design sensibilities and design them yourself. Or you can um, ask a designer to make some. Or you can add, you can buy them on somewhere something like Etsy. That's what I did. So I bought uh, my semi-custom app tabs from a seller on Etsy. There's tons and tons of different choices. Um, some come preset with colors, some you pay a little bit more to, to say, oh, these are the colors that I want. So you can take a look around and, uh, and do that if that's something that, you know, you don't want to spend time doing for yourself or you don't have the design capabilities to do it. So get your, um, get your like, design and your images ready to go, and then um, you're ready to start making custom tabs. So there are lots of different ways to do it, including um, coding your own tabs. Uh, but, you know, I'm all about doing it as simply and as quickly as possible. And I love a tool called Bluebox. So there are lots of different tools that will allow you to um, create these custom tabs, um, free and paid. But Bluebox, um, it's easy to use and it's totally free for the social media ones. So they, there is a paid level, as you'll see when we get inside, um, that allows you to run contests and that kind of stuff and offers on your Facebook page. But for the, um, just for your social media ones, it's totally free. So you would just go to woobox.com and click get started for free and log in with your Facebook um, so that, you know, they can see your page and all that jazz. Now when I click get started, it's going to just bring me into my account because I already have an account and I'm already signed in. Um, and you'll see that it brings you to this front page, uh, promotions. Promotions is... Um, you know, their contest coupons, all that type of stuff. This is the paid level. So if you want to um, put one of these into place and go through, then it, they are going to ask you to upgrade your account. Um, I just have a free account, and it's the static tabs that we want. So we click in here, and you'll see the tabs that are live on my Facebook page. And so I already have, um, you know, a Pinterest, YouTube, and Twitter tab. So today we're going to go and actually create one for my Instagram account. But it's the same steps, uh, basically, for all the different social accounts. So whether you want to make one for YouTube or Twitter or whatever, you can just follow the same steps. So we'll go here, create new tab, Instagram. And then now it's saying it's added successfully to my page, and it wants me to customize it. So obviously, I need to enter my Instagram username. And then I get an option here to include all of my photos or photos just with a specific tag. Um, so that could be useful if you want to highlight, um, you know, a specific set of photos. It's the same thing when you go through to, to customizing the YouTube one. You can put just the particular playlist or all of your YouTube videos. Um, so I'm going to click all for right now. And then it wants me to connect to my account so that it can pull in. Um, it can pull in. There you go. So I was already signed into Instagram, so it just went uh, and authorized it right away. And, and then this next section here, non-fan page source. So it's saying fan gate is turned off. And what it means by fan gate is when someone comes to your page and they're not a fan, so they haven't liked your page, and they click on one of your tabs, you have the choice of showing them something different than what your fans would see. So 
you could have an image that says, you know, like my page to see this particular um, this particular tab. Now, because today we're setting up uh, social networking tabs, I don't really see the value in that because you know it's all publicly available stuff anyways. It's not like you're giving away anything. Um, you're giving away a free gift in exchange for them liking your page, um, and you want to encourage them to check out your other social networks and possibly follow you there. So I'm going to leave it turned off, but it's definitely something that uh, that you can play around with if you do have you know um, some sort of uh, some sort of content that you would like to offer just to your fans. So I'm going to press save here, and then here on the left I'm going to go to tab settings. Now, this tab image here, I've already uploaded my um, custom tab that came with the, with the set of tabs that I had bought from the EC seller. So the default is like a little Instagram camera guy, um, and it's super easy to change. And you just go to change, and then you can select anything. So you can see here, this is the set that I bought, and some are blank, so I can customize them myself as I do with the videos one. Um, and so I clicked Instagram, and then that's there in my Instagram tab. Here I can change the name of the tab, so that's what's showing up below. Um, so it doesn't just say Twitter or YouTube. I can, you know, I put tech tutorials for my YouTube channel because that's what's on my YouTube channel. Um, and I, for my latest um, group program, you know, I enrollment was now open, so I changed the uh, I changed the the name of that. So I'm going to leave it as Instagram for this particular tab, and I'm going to press save settings. And then the other. Um, the other interesting things, we're going to go into stats in a second on the tab that's already been open because there's going to be nothing in there. And then this um, admin only, this allows you to um, turn the tab into um, so only you can see it. So if you were working on a tab, for example, and you, or it wasn't, uh, you didn't want it uh, visible to your fans right now, you could turn on admin only mode and it would be hidden from your page. And then so you could decide when to turn it on, when to turn it off. I'm going to leave this off because I want people to see my Instagram tab. Um, and now I'm going to go back to my static tabs page. And we should see, yep, we see the Instagram tab. And now we'll reload the Facebook page. And we should see a new tab here. Yep, there's Instagram. So now that I've got the Instagram tab, I want to... I want to move it and you can swap positions with any one of the other tabs that you've already got open. So right now I'm just going to swap with like so that it shows up, you know, in line with all the other ones that I have. And uh, and then there you go, you're ready to go. So now people can come in and click on Instagram and it should show my Instagram account. Yep, and they can follow me on Instagram uh, right away. They can take a look at my photos, all that kind of stuff. So it's up and running and ready to go. Now, um, on in your Woo box, as I said, they do have um, it does have this like stats option, which is very cool. So, for example, we'll just click on my YouTube my YouTube one. So it, it tells you that in the last uh, or in, since this tab was um, created, sixteen uh, people looked at it, and in the last thirty days, five people looked at it, and it'll even tell you when and whether it was a fan or a non-fan. So this is kind of cool because it'll allow you to see you know which tabs are. Um, more popular. If the post was um, fan gated, you'd be able to see how many people chose to click like um, to see what was in that in that gated tab. Um, so this is really cool information, and this is like I said, totally free. Um, this is all the free level of Woobox, and I think it's really easy to use. And uh, you know, it's very clear. Um, it's very clear how to change it and how to set it up. So. Um, so there you go. That's the uh, super short tech tutorial on creating custom social media tabs for your Facebook page. Um, obviously, there's you know more layers to this. Creating, uh, you can create tabs even within WooBox that uh, or have HTML content. Um, you know that you can go into your Mailchimp account and link a tab that allows people to opt in. But uh, but for today's tutorial, you'll be able to go in and at least set up your um, your social media tab. So I hope you enjoyed this, and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'd be happy to help you out.